Time circuits? Ah, flux capacitor. Uh, fluxy. Okay, if Doc's gonna get killed on June 14th, 1931, I'll just show up the day before and get him out. I hope you know what you're doing, Doc. Einstein, where'd you go now, boy? Excuse me, young man! Who? Uh, me? You're the only man in the street, and I'm looking for a man in the street reaction. Naturally, you know about the explosion that destroyed this illegal gin establishment. I read about it, yeah. What's your opinion of Carl Sagan, the stranger who single-handedly did what the law has been unable to do for ten long years, namely, rid Hill Valley of the scourge of liquor? Uh... You can mark me down as a supporter, the young man said, flashing a boyish yet virile grin. Hill Valley needs more upstanding youths like yourself. Do you have a message for the vicious gangsters who still roam these streets, no doubt plotting to corrupt our citizens with another den of booze, sin, and debauchery? Yeah, tell them, go ahead, make my day. Make your day what? Never mind. I'll play around with it and see if I can come up with something better. Mr... May I get your name? Yeah, it's... Michael Corleone. Thank you for sharing your candid opinions, Mr. Corleone. Edna Strickland, Hill Valley Herald. I know. I met you back. I mean, 
I'm familiar with your work. You read my column? How sweet! I know it's just an etiquette column, but I believe it'll lead to bigger and better... Oh! Einstein, no! Down, boy! Is this wretched creature yours? He assaulted me once before. What's got into you? Aggressive dogs must be kept on leash at all times. It's the law. Look it up. Doc. I gotta find Doc. You gonna buy anything? Um, no. Then get out, Bob. I guess this is where the speakeasy burned down. How'd Doc ever get mixed up in that? Hello? No solicitors! How can I help you, sir? Without any money, I don't really have any business in there. Who are you and what do you want? Can I talk to, uh, Carl Sagan? Are you his lawyer? Um, no. Then scram! For me, Doc. I did? When? May 14th, 1986. 1980? <gasps> the automatic retrieval system. Of course. I'd almost forgotten about that. So what's our plan for getting you out of here? Plan? We don't need a plan. We don't. Not in the slightest. The police picked me up for that speakeasy fire a couple of weeks ago, but the DA hasn't got a case. They're releasing me tomorrow morning. So basically, I traveled 50 years into the past to deliver your car? Sorry about that, but it's so wonderful to see you. We have a lot of catching up to do. Yeah, y you might want to hold off on that, Doc. Great right, Scott! I'm going to be gunned down by gangsters on the steps of the courthouse! Why would they do that? Guess they didn't approve of my burning down their speakeasy. Very funny, Doc. Maybe now we should come up with a plan? A plan? Right. But what? Why don't I take the DeLorean, go back in time before you were arrested, and stop you from getting caught in the first place? Don't even think about it. Without my unjust incarceration, the events that sent you into the past might never happen, resulting in a paradox of continuum shattering proportions. Jeez, we've been back together for five minutes, Doc, and you're already talking about the end of the universe. I've missed that. Don't be ridiculous, Marty. I was only referring to the end of the universe as we know it. I suppose I could just get some dynamite and break you out of jail. No, no, that's far too dangerous. Not just to me, but to random innocent people in the past. The repercussions could be... <gasps> that's it! What's it? My rocket-powered drill. You have a rocket-powered drill? Not yet. I haven't built it yet. You've lost me, Doc. Listen, a few months ago, my 17-year-old self sent in a patent application for a rocket-powered drill. I abandoned the project after I never heard back from the patent office, but the prototype should be nearly complete. Great, I'll just run back to your lab and... No, no, I said nearly complete. You'll need me to help you finish it. How the hell am I supposed to sneak a half-finished rocket-powered drill into your cell? Not me, me! 1931 me! Wait a minute, Doc. You want me to convince your 1931 self to build a rocket-powered drill to break you out of jail? Precisely! How am I supposed to convince your younger self to finish the rocket drill? Just. Tell him I need to break his older self out of jail? Absolutely not. Whatever you do, you can't tell my younger self anything about time travel. 
I won't come up with the inspiration for the flux capacitor for another 24 years. Then what am I supposed Just to... Just be your charming self. From what I remember, I'm a pretty easygoing kid, so enlisting me in a scientific adventure should be a piece of cake. Okay, let's say I go along with this crazy idea. Where can I find you? I mean, uh, the other you. How should I know? It was over 50 years ago. Why don't you go over to the soup kitchen next door and give my house a call? They'll know where to find me. Soup kitchen. Got it. Just stay away from the soup. It'll cause irreparable damage to your digestive system. I guess I better get started. Don't worry, Doc. I'll get you out of here in no time. I'm not worried. Once you and my younger self put your heads together, you'll be unstoppable. McFly? Biff? Kid? Grandpa? That's Mr. Tannen to you, Artie. What are you doing out here? Well, I was getting kind of hungry, so I figured I'd come down here for some free soup. Just thought I'd come down for some soup. Think, McFly. The DA's throwing around subpoenas like Babe Ruth. I don't think Ruth's a pitcher anymore. Shut it. If one of those subpoenas landed in the hands of my number cruncher, I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. I could even get sent up the river. You wouldn't want that, would you? Would you? Uh, no, of course not, kid. All right, that's better. What are you looking at, punk? Keep your eyes on the soup, kid. Well? Well, what? What are you still doing here? Sorry, kid. I'll just run back to the safe house. You do that. And McFly? Yes? That hat's too flashy. You better let me hold on to it. Ah. Uh, now scram! You got it, boss. And don't come out until I give you the all clear. I swear, if even one of you mooks could add two plus two without your fingers, I'd dump that wimp into the lake. Hey! Anyway... I'm off to make myself irresistible. Don't let anyone burn down the shop while I'm gone. Brown Resident? Uh, hi. Uh, do you know where I could find Emmett Brown? Young Master Brown is currently tending to his clerking duties at the courthouse. Who may I say is calling? The courthouse? Doc never told me he worked at the courthouse. Uh, uh. There's no way I'm gonna keep that door open without some help. I better not talk to him. I don't want to mess up his timeline. Ahem. <clears throat> okay. Hey, um... Uh, never mind. Kitchens for management only, Rummy. Whoa!
Hey, how you doing, Einie? those these are very sensitive legal documents nobody is supposed to handle them but sworn officers of the court papa i mean judge brown says so judge brown doc uh nice to meet you i'm michael uh corleone emmett brown but i am a law clerk not a doctor now please get out of my way i have important business to transact Naturally, H2A multiplied by the inversion of H has to come out less than expectation. Listen, Emmett, you don't know me, but I'm your friend. I'm not big on friends. They get in the way of work. Listen, I understand you're working on a new invention in your lab. Invention? You must have me mixed up with somebody else. I'm in law. I have absolutely no interest in science. Value, but only if the coefficient of friction remains constant. Come on, wait up a minute. You again? Can't you see I'm busy? Okay, so you don't want your old man to know. That's fine. Listen, we all keep secrets. But I'm telling you, you can level with me about this science project of yours. I the... am not a scientist. But go ahead, ask me what E equals. What does E equal? I have absolutely no idea. See? I don't know where you got your information from about me, mister, but you're wrong, wrong, wrong! How many newtons are required to maintain a constant- Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone! Come on, you could trust me, Doc. Uh, Emmett, it's your future I'm looking out for, in more ways than one. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you, and science. Oh, that word again! If you insinuate I'm a scientist once more, I'll sue you for defamation of character! Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone! Come on, Doc. Uh, Emmett, uh, drop the Legal Eagle Act. I got something more important for you to do. Mr. Corleone... I'll have you know that the law is the very mortar that holds society together, and we in the legal profession are like brick masons building the edifice of the future. Your dad tell you that? Every morning. See, I'm sort of in the science business myself. That's why I sought you out. Not that I care in the least, because science is the furthest thing from my own area of interest, which is law, but I don't believe you. It's true. I'm a scientist. So tell me something, Mr. Scientist, from your vast storehouse of scientific knowledge. Uh, the leg bone's connected to the thigh bone? Amazing. So Emmett, what time are you through with work? Depends. On weeknights, Pop sometimes keeps me in the office till nine. Nine at night? But today's Saturday. Right. So I probably won't get off before 10. How about you knock off work early and I'll buy you a beer? Uh, or soda? Uh, what do you say? Don't try to tempt me from my duty with sugary beverages. Keeping the wheels of justice turning, that's my one passion in life. Besides, if I left before 8, my pop would kill me. Sounds like you're a little scared of your father. Scared of my father? Pop is the most learned, just, incorruptible judge that Hill Valley has ever seen. The only people scared of Judge Brown are people with a dark secret to hide. And I don't have a dark secret to hide. What's this important business you're up to? It's a legal matter. Very complicated, very abstruse. I need to obtain five sets of initials on every copy of this writ of indemnification before Pop... I mean, before Judge Brown can even think of granting a waiver to the party of the first part. You have no idea what it's about, do you? That's how important it is. Emmett, uh, about Don't your... say it! Then naturally, H2A multiply... How many are required to 
Don't think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I, oh. Acceleration is... Psst, Dak! Marty, have you found my younger self yet? So, Doc, does this ring a bell? Oh, think, Emmett, think. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. H to the A multiplied by the inverse of A. I Good know. grief! Is that me? I sound so... Young? I was gonna say intense. I forgot how wound up I used to get. Yeah, but what are you muttering about? Oh, that's easy. It's Ivanov's conundrum. Just tell my younger self that H equals the Hamiltonian operator. Won't giving him the answer mess up the time stream? Only if it turns out that reality is actually nothing more than a holographic illusion created by the interplay of subatomic particles on a vast two-dimensional membrane. So... It'll be fine. Where have you been all this time? I missed you. I've missed you too, Marty. But I thought it was important to let you live your own life for a while, free from the insanity of time travel. I gotta admit, it was nice to not have my family history blowing up in my face for a few months. Besides, I've been busy raising my own unpredictable teenagers. Guess who I bumped into at the soup kitchen? My grandfather. No! Don't worry, I didn't talk to him or change his future or anything. Good! I wish I could, though. This era is tan and is treating him like dirt. Don't worry. If history plays out as it's supposed to, he'll soon be out from under Kit Tannen's thumb and free to live out his life as a humble accountant with your grandma. What was her name again? Sylvia. Right, Sylvia. What was H again? The Hamiltonian Operator. Got it. Hang in there, Doc. Not the best choice of words, Marty. Will you just give me a chance? Harassment's a federal crime, Mr. Corleone! Maybe H equals the Hamiltonian operator. What did you just say? I said maybe H equals the... Hamiltonian operator? Yeah! Great Scott! If H is a Hamiltonian, then H to the A multiplied by the inverse of H can only be the same as the expectation value for A! <laughs> That's it! That's the solution to Ivanov's conundrum, the problem I've been wrestling with in my head all week! I'm sure you would have figured it out by yourself in a day or two. The way you figured out how to build that rocket power drill. Where did you learn so much about science? Well, it's like this. You know about my rocket power drill? Then there can only be one explanation. What? You're from the patent office! I confess I didn't quite know what to expect when I sent the paperwork, but I never expected this. Welcome! I'm at your service. What can I do for you? Can I see your rocket power drill? Of course, of course. Naturally, it's just a scale model, but it's nearly operational. I can show it to you, say, first thing in the morning. Now nah, that's no good. I need to see a full-size model. <gasps> that's fully operational. <gasps> Tonight. <gasps> Otherwise, we'll have to award the patent to a competing inventor, uh, Dr. McCoy. It can't be done! I mean, it might be possible to construct a full-size working model in that time frame, but I haven't got the main ingredient for the fuel! I'll get it for you. What is it? 190 proof grain alcohol! And you know how difficult it is to get a hold of alcohol these days. Especially now that someone's blown up the speakeasy. And besides, there's no way I can get off work until I've delivered the subpoena. It's part of the investigation into the business affairs of Kid Tannen. Is it vitally important you see that rocket power drill today? Yes. Is it vitally important you deliver that subpoena today? Yes! 
Listen, I'll help you deliver it, and I'll see to what you get the alcohol you need. <laughs> It'll help you get that drill finished by tonight. Deal? Deal. Here's the subpoena. I've got a subpoena my grandpa. No! <gasps> it's Kid Tannen. Hey, I, I just saw him at the soup kitchen, yelling at Arthur McFly. I'm not surprised. Arthur does the books for his business. What kind of business? That's what the DA is trying to find out. Let's go talk to him. No! Why not? Kid Tannen can tell us where Arthur's hiding. Yeah, well, he can also have us fitted for a Chicago overcoat. Hey, uh, Miss Strickland. Oh, hello, Mr. Corleone. Try not to draw any undue attention my way. I'm on the trail of a hot new scoop, as we in the newspaper business say. I'm sorry about the way Einstein lit into you back there. I don't know what got into him. Well, I hope you've learned to keep him under control. Yeah, I found someone to keep him distracted. Very good. Now let's see if you know your multiplication tables. Did you finish the story you interviewed me for? About Carl Sagan? Yes, but those pig-headed editors at the paper rejected it. They said my story was slanted, and that I was glorifying a suspected arsonist. As if their stories aren't always glorifying the criminal vermin that run this town. This whole thing makes me so mad I could spit! Though of course I never would. There's an ordinance against it, and it's so untidy. I got a book. Oh? Where? What the hell matches? You, you got Kiwi all over my socks! Sorry, boss. Get out of here! How about you? Huh? I'm sitting at a shoe shine booth. You walk up. Either you're here to shine my shoes, or you got a death wish. Which is it? I'm looking for a guy named Arthur McFly. He's my, uh, sort of a relative. Well, he's my employee. He's very busy today. So, when do you think Arthur will be leaving the office? When I tell him he can leave the office. Hey, you missed a spot. Since you're Arthur's boss, you know where he is, right? He's at the, uh... Office. Where's the office? I forget. Isn't that Arthur McFly's hat you're holding? It was McFly's hat. Now it's my peanut bowl. <laughs> Could I buy Arthur's hat off you? Could you keep your mind on your work, huh? Shoe shine boy? I'm hanging on to my peanut bowl. Can I have some peanuts? Why not? I'm a magnanimous kind of guy. Go ahead, knock yourself out. Hey, kid! Yeah? What the hell is that? Hey! What did you do? You lousy crook! Emmett! Emmett! Nobody makes a monkey out of Kid Tannen! me up. Where do you learn how to move like that? 
Sandlot football. They used to call me the streak. Get out. <laughs>